Hey guys, this is your civil bro Manak, and uh, I'm here with another video on Tekla Structural Designer. So in this video, what I'm going to do, uh, I have a particular CAD file of a building plan around 1300 square feet. So I'm going to do the entire steps in the Tekla Structural Designer for design of that G uh, plus two building. And uh, I'm also going to import the CAD file directly. So it will be a step which you can see in the previous videos uh, we had shown you how to uh, you know plot the grids directly in the Tekla software. So hope you find this a learning experience and if you have any doubts you can just leave it in the comments and if you find the video useful don't forget to hit the like button. So uh, for starting this is our plan around 1300 square feet and the plan is in meters and what you need to do is you need to import the dxf of this plan in the tecla structural designer software so first of all i'm going to go to the tecla structural designer and click on new so it will create a new file in this particular uh, software and once it creates a new file and i'm going to go back to the autocad to finish the work uh, which is remaining here so uh, first of all uh, i had a particular architectural plan in feet and inches I had converted this into meters if you want a video on that I'll just uh, surely upload it and uh, after that I had made the beam column plan so I'll also upload a video on uh, how to make the beam column plan also a little bit of a uh, long video so I had already done it but later I'll uh, sure upload a video how to convert an architectural plan into beam column plan basically it's all about knowing the position of the walls and deciding the position of the beams and columns okay so this is the beam column plan and it's uh, ready the next thing you want to do is you want to make the center line so i'm just going to take a line and before that i'll go to layer properties here and make a new layer sorry this is the option for new layer and uh, i'm going to name this layer as a cl and uh, the color uh, you can just change any color i'll pick this 252 number color here and the line uh, weight and line type you can keep as normal and then just close it uh, i'll just take switch to turn the current layer to cl and take a line here go a bit up to here and close this and after that i'll select this and give it up to here this is a one center line now i'll copy this to all the column centers all the columns i made are of uh, you know uh, 254 into 254 later if the software decides after the calculation that larger size is required then we'll give larger size but for starting i have taken equal to the width of the wall that is your uh, you know, 254 uh, mm you can take according to your wall width i'm just selecting the center of the columns here the center just extending escape selecting it then selecting it here and extending it up to here so selecting it again, copy, and then selecting this portion. And this is the center lines, which I'm pasting on here. So after creating the center line, now we have uh, covered you know, all the uh, primary beams. For the secondary beams also, we need to do the same thing. So we need to have a reference for all the uh, secondary beams as well. So for that, uh, we want to have a thing. So let's uh, you know take an offset of uh, around half the size of the beam. So if you take this size, it is a 254. So we can just go with 152 offset. So just select this O oh, enter uh, 0.152 and this direction, so it will not be 152, it will be uh, your 127. So oh, enter 0.127 and take this here. And after that, select this, copy and copying it from here to here. Like this, I'll select this and shift and select this and then click on delete. So like this, I will do for all. So here also, I'll just select this offset 0.127, enter 
then select this escape and select this copy take this point do it up to here select this and shift select this delete so let's see if any secondary view is missing we have one here again offset one to seven here one here one and this one i'm going to copy like this point i'm just selecting the points which will make it make me easier to copy and not trim later like this shift the uh, this like this delete so again uh, let's like this copy select this shift select this and now if you use that to right selection you can just select it directly so these are the uh, set lines which we have made you can delete this it is not necessary and you can notice that there are no overlappings or otherwise this trick won't work and there are nothing uh, there is nothing else in this file as well so uh, i'll for the sake of you know convenience uh, you can see all the center lines here are in one single layer which is cl and the remaining things can be in the other layer so i'll just save this file and by pressing Ctrl plus S and after that I'll save uh, as a DXF file. So I'll just press DXF out come on and I'll save uh, this plan in uh, in a footprint folder. So let's this plan one in meter DXF just click on save. So now it will be you know saved in the DXF format. I'll just close this file now and open it in the Tecla Excel designer software. So I've done uh, nothing. I just opened a new file in the particular structural designer. And now just click on new. And uh, here, uh, we'll just uh, go to model and go to construction levels and create the construction levels here. And before creating the construction levels, you can also check, but I'll create the construction levels first, create level below. And the foundation level based on the soil distribute, the structural designer has to give. Let me give minus 1.5 here. So it will be. Uh, the plinth level is uh, zero the foundation level is at uh, 1.5 meters below the plinth level you can take it uh, you know as per your preference so if you can you want to take this as two meter take this as two meter feel free according to the soil test report the plinth level okay so plinth level the foundation level and then uh, one level above this it will be our ssl at the structural slab level and the spacing we would like to um, be it as a uh, 10 feet 6 inches or 3.2 meters normal for residential buildings slab thickness of 150 is also conventional 150 mm and this is g one floor another floor or this is g plus one and go there goes another floor this is g plus two so uh if you have created g plus two so just click on okay so g plus two you know your levels are okay you can check here in the go to structure go to the levels you can check here that all your levels are ready uh, if you want to go to any level just double click on that that particular level will open also you have a tab format which is very easy to operate so uh, let's go to the plane level or the structure base here and then uh, we want to import the cat file and see that whether a cat file which you have prepared this works so we'll go to new uh, our you know plan and uh, this in meters just open this file and you have to be a little bit careful here architectural grids the dxf units is in meters and uh, here uh, we are uh, going to select here this firstly we are going to select center lines we don't want any other layer other than the center line okay just click on next and uh, we want this to be copied in all the levels just select by layer and select all the levels finish click on next finish so as you can see the grids have been uh you know out fine just ignore the numbering the number is not, in, is not that perfect in this uh, word i uh, will get all the desired results here okay so now uh, after this is done you can go to this i import the except option once again just click on the plan once again and this time instead of the center line just this select the center line and the remaining items are selected uh the unit is the same you know as you know in meters and just uh click on this shadow so this time it will be imported as a shadow so it will help you to you know 
find out where is the actual location of the beams and columns it makes the our work so easy that uh, uh, you can locate everything your beams and columns very pretty easily so now progressing with the modeling part uh, we can go to our model here and our columns so first of all uh, we'll just take you know a column here and uh, let's say you want to take a column and uh, first of all i'll just if you, you want to make these changes you can do this but otherwise you don't need to do this here you can do it in the settings so what i'll do i'll just untick this automatic alignment option here and uh, make this column size as uh let's give here you know if this is in mm so 250 mm uh into 350 mm so i'm just going to give this column size here and click on okay and i'm going to save uh, now also i'm going to just make this at 500 here and uh, after making at 500 i'm going to save this as uh, c 0.25 uh ross 0.35 okay and uh after having you know done that uh, what i want to do is i want to introduce this m20 concrete by the way it's m20 concrete selected i want to introduce another set of columns and uh, this time uh what i'm going to do you can see here we have uh, you know different options here top level base level so all these options you can just C and after that what you can do uh, i'll just uh, go with one type of column now and to select the type of column which i've made that is uh, 0.25 into 0.35 and just place it in all the points where i have the columns marked so you can see it is very easy to you know place the columns because since i have the shadow imported i know where is the location of the columns unlike some other software uh, you don't need to just uh, look into the beam column plan again and again and find out the location of the beams and columns you go to structure 3d and uh, right click on your mouse and rotate this you can see all the columns are ready so after that uh, the next thing is to uh, give your beams so just double click on your beams the beams are ready and uh, we will give a beam size of uh, 250 into 350 mm and m20 concrete fe 500 will be the steel grade and uh, after that uh, we'll give a 500 is uh, the steel grade which you have used and once you have said that save this as uh, b point Two five, or just save this as be two fifty cross three fifty. So click on OK. Now you select uh, this particular beam, and uh, you can give this primary beams first. But when you have secondary beams, make sure you give the secondary beams first. So for giving the secondary beam, uh, just select this and double click on this. Again, select this, double click on this. If you follow the process which I am showing you, I'm sure there will be less chances of errors. Select this and double click on this. And after that, once you have done that, click on escape. So after that, double click on that, this uh, beam. After click on escape, go to releases. Uh, so this is bottom to top. Bottom one is end one. Top one is N2. If it is left to right, then left one is N1 and right one is N2. So the, the logic is simple for the numbering. Bottom to top and left to right. Okay. So both ends doesn't have any columns. So both ends are pinned here. And here also. Double click on this. Go to releases. Both ends don't have any column. So make the maps pinned. It will help to release the movements. It might help you to make the structure a little bit economical. Double click on that because the job of a structural engineer is to make the structures economical and safe. 
So uh, I hope that all the secondary beams are covered. You can see, check in the structure 3D as well. These are hanging because we haven't given any, any beams yet. So we've got the beams again. And uh, after going to the beams, just select the beams once again. And just left click and drag this like this between your column to column to create your beams. So we can give a horizontal uh, no, a beam, full beam like this and like this and we have one like this. This is the staircase portion and this is the other portion here. So our plinth level as you can see in the structure 3D is ready. So uh, if you want you can uh, copy this to the other level here go to construction levels simply make this source as your base and click on ok now quickly go to construction levels once again go make this as unique and click on ok after this go to this this particular level that is structure one double click on this this is open now this will have slab so go to slab on beams automatically you know two way slabs will be selected one way slab is not designed anyway you can insert it but there is no you know i would say there is no use of inserting it so 150 mm uh, two-way slabs we're providing it here uh, the staircase in the staircase portion obviously we won't provide and we are providing it everywhere even the portions uh, which are one-way slab if you want to insert suppose this is the one-way slab and you want to insert a one-way slab here uh so i'll just do this two first and suppose these two are the one-way slab if you want to insert one-way slabs here so just uh, go to the admin slabs and uh, uh, here you have this option of two way or one way just make them as one way and uh, just click on this like this the one way slab has been i know made here selected here like this this portion is staircase so this doesn't have any slab and many people make an error we usually don't have any you know slab in the plane beam unless it is a great slab and uh, some heavy machinery is on it so in the plane beam usually sand filling is done after that pcc or that is plain cement concreting is done no slabs are there so do not need to insert slabs or in the case live loads in the plinth portion okay so now we can copy this to the remaining levels to just copy the part and complete the particular modeling part so we'll make the source of this two as one and also make this source as one and then click on ok so uh, here you can see that the model is complete and if you want uh, to go to the headroom portion as well so you can do that so for that you need the location of these four staircases so first of all i'll go to construction levels and i'll insert a level above so usually the headroom spacing is not as much as the you know floors by default is around 2.8 meters you can check what is your requirement according to the requirement you can provide but by default it is 2.8 meters and i'll just click on ok i've created a level above and what i'm going to do i'm going to select all the floor for four columns press ctrl and select It'll help you to select all the four columns and the top level just make this top level to the new level which you have created so you can see that this has done now why the remaining portion has been created has been you know copied because this similar study option was on there just click on ctrl plus z it will uh, remove this and uh, go back to the construction levels here and i will uh, make them back as unique so it's important that you make them back as unique before doing anything and go uh, check you know two times whether it's back as unique it's like checking uh, you know locking a key with one hand and checking with another hand that it's unique or not okay so uh, again i've selected these four columns but now first i need to make the levels because i had missed it above earlier insert above and again as i had said 2.8 meters and then click on ok and uh, these four columns are already selected so the top level i'm going to change to the newly le level which i have made and i'm going to go to the topmost level here which is my headroom and here i'll go to my model uh okay so to my to my model here i'll go to the beam option and click click on the beam option and i'll just go with the beam which i've created just 
ultimately drag since they are all primary beams. I'll ultimately drag, and the beam is created. I'll create a slab here because the topmost portion will have a slab. So if this is a one-way slab, you can insert a one-way slab. You can check here uh, in this very easily. Uh, you can just uh, go here, and you have this option of measure, and you can see this. This is 2.083, and this is 4.522. So 4.522 divided by 2.083. Uh, it is 2.17, so it is a one-way slab. So I'm going to have to select, uh, deselect, and delete this. And then I'm just click on slab here. And uh, this I'm going to just go new slab. And I'm going to go here one way. So one-way slab is done. Click on escape. Go to structure. So this is how you created the staircase. Now if you uh, need the uh, need to insert the staircase load on this so you'll have to have uh, in between level where we can put a beam so that the, the portion where the staircase flights meet this is the oblique staircase you can give that so for that uh, you know what you can do you can just uh, go to a particular frame and create that so our entrance to the building is in this side so uh, the first staircase will start from here and you know and in between here somewhere so let us create a frame here so we'll go to frame and i'll just click on the frame and i'll just uh, insert a frame here uh, along the grid 8 okay so i'll just click on escape and uh, just go to frames and go to, go to frame 8 so just double click on the frame 8 so this is the frame it which uh, you know i'm seeing right now i'll go to this uh, construction lines parallel quick i'll select so this is 3.2 and uh, 3.2 divided by 2 is 1.6 so since this is a dog leg staircase i'll have my landing in one place i'm just click clicking on this and i'll click on f2 that is, which will allow me to edit the distance i'll just click here 1.6 and then click on enter and uh, similarly i'll click on escape once again Click on this line and then click on F2 once again and then 1.6. Note that in some PC you need to uh, click on function and then click on F2. So you can check that. Escape and then select this. Click on F2 1.6. So like this uh, it can be done. And now to insert the uh, staircase you know beams here so what can i do i can go to beam here and uh, select this and double click on this select this and double click on this select this and double click on this go to structure here as you can see here now uh, what you can do go to make sure you go to your model and in your model you will have your option uh, of making you know a uh, staircase panel in this you will have an option of parallax slab just click on that and just this needs a little bit practice to you know figure out the correct angle i'm selecting this if you just observe it carefully then it will be very easy for you the first trick is just click on the center here and then if you can figure out the center uh, properly how the work is done select the center here this and double click on last point so and again select this and you need to rotate and find out this center properly and <coughs> i'll click on escape again uh, finding the proper angle okay so that i just click on this beam and not on any other beam again i'll take the flat slab I've selected this let's see if i selected this beam okay i've selected the correct beam and now for finding the center i have to make sure i have selected this beam and not any other beam yeah now this center is usually located you can see in the left there are two points right also there are two points which means this is the center so I click this i click the end this is easy and now i need to click the other end so as you can see, I've created it, but I've created it, you know, a little bit out of place. It should not be in here. So sometimes this happens. You can 
simply uh, redo it or i can even even move it uh, to this point i can select this and move it but i'll show you again how to you know do it properly so i'll select the flat slab here select the center i've selected this center i've selected this center and i've selected this center so it will take little bit of practice for it to get acquainted with this and after that select this and also select this with the help of control okay these two are selected now an important thing is to be done if you don't want any error in this particular you know thing diaphragm make this as none okay so after this as you can look into it what you can do just uh, go to edit and you have the option of copy right so just click on this and copy it to this point and also to this point so just click on escape to see the effect now some of you might ask where is the landing so my dear it is not for the design of the staircase this is only to give the load of the staircase so we can provide the staircase load in this particular building here properly so for that particular reason only i am providing this and also there is another reason i can design this particular beam where the staircase will rest so the loads on the structure will be properly done design of the staircase cannot be done in this software or in etabs or in uh, stat pro this three software i make videos and also structural designs using this three in this three software can be not be done there are some uh, excel files which you can make for yourself or you can purchase also or you can design manually for the staircase it's pretty easy not nothing complicated okay so uh, next last thing you need to do is uh, go to model and just validate the model so in this case if you have any error it will show in this so this uh, modeling is complete and uh, we'll continue on in the loading part in the next video on the which will uh, come tomorrow that is on sunday so stay safe and wherever you are stay happy and keep learning bye bye